What's going on everyone on YouTube? It's JG Sneakers back here finally with a new video. We have our 24th beater box right here. Just got in yesterday, I believe, ordered it about a week ago. Um, but anyways, I have 11 pairs in here. It was purchased for, for $850 from Soul Supremacy and they always add on the $35 shipping. So in total it was $885, but various sizes, uh, a lot of different shoes in here and really excited to get into it and show you guys what I got in this box. So we're gonna start out with the pairs that don't come with boxes. And the first pair that we received is a Jordan 1 in a black and white colorway. These are size 13. By the way, every pair will be for sale. Check the description, my number will be posted. But anyways, this Jordan 1, um, really good condition. If you look at the bottoms, they honestly look brand new, but uh, they don't come with a box, which is surprising considering the condition they're in but yeah those are the jordan one size 13 pretty satisfied to get this pair in the box moving on to the next pair we have a pair that's not in the best condition these are the pink foam posits um bottoms you can see obvious yellowing and another thing right here some loss of the bottom it's just wearing away and a, my, a scuff there. These ones are size, hold on a sec. These are size 11, don't come with a box either, but those are the pink foam posits. The next pair that we received in this box is a Jordan Bread 11 Low. Worn condition, no box. These ones are size 10. Bottoms are great. I mean, if I clean these up, I think they'll be pretty good condition overall. But really satisfied to get this pair. The fourth pair. As you can see, Beat Oreo 5s. These ones are size 10 and a half. Look at the bottoms. They're no longer yellowing. They're greening. They're browning right now. But, uh... No box on these. Suede upper is pretty much destroyed. Not a lot of life left in these. So wasn't entirely pleased to get these, but it's a beater box, so you gotta expect that. The next pair is one of the newer Jordan Retro releases. The Jordan 9 Anthracite. These don't come with a box either, but these are size 10 and a half. The condition is decent on these. Probably could just use a little cleaning. Um, on the insole, it still has the, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it still has the size tag and the little 30th anniversary logo. But yeah, those are the Jordan 9 Anthracites. Moving on, this is the last pair without a box. Another Oreo theme shoe, the Jordan 4 Oreo remastered version came out fairly recently um these are pretty good condition the uppers are still great no dirt bottoms are great still a lot of stars on the little toe cap but overall satisfied with these these are size nine no box but great condition moving on to the final pairs the rest come with a box and the first pair is something that i've never gotten in a beater box and wasn't expecting to get Jordan 11, size one youth. I'll show you guys these. Legend, Legend Blue 11s, um, dead sock. They're actually pretty cool to see in this such a small size. And I already have a buyer for these. I'm actually selling them to a family friend's kid. So hopefully they get a lot of good use out of these. And they're fresh in their elementary school or wherever they are, but um, come with original box, original everything. Kind of cool to get, not really dissatisfied or anything, but those are the Legend Blue 11s in this tiny box. Next pair, Jordan Countdown Pack. Um, I really like these boxes, the way it slides off and everything. If I can get it to slide off. There we go. These are the Jordan 10 countdown packs. Um, really clean. I feel like this colorway is underrated. 
I think the Jordan 10 is slept on, but this colorway is just really clean. Uh, mostly black upper with the red 23 outlined in white. Um, good condition, like check out the bottoms. Really not much wear, but uh, satisfied with this pair. Check the size. These ones are size 10 and come with the original box as you saw. So the Jordan Countdown Pack 10s. So this next pair, I don't really have a really good idea on this pair, but the box says Air Cringe, size eight, but I do believe this is a replacement box because I looked up the Air Cringe and it didn't match what was inside. But I did cringe when I saw these shoes. Um, a really old Nike. I'm not 100% sure on the name of these, but it does have the air right here, and I think they might be the air up tempos, but if you know, definitely leave a comment below. But great condition on these. Bottoms are great, as you can see, and the air bubble is starting to fog up because being that they're an older shoe, insoles still have Nike Air intact. You probably can't see that, but these, I'm gonna check the size real quick. They are size eight, so they might be the Air Cringe. Correct me if I'm wrong, because that's what the box says. And it is an older Nike box, so maybe, but these, I don't really know where or how I'm gonna sell them or for how much, but these are, that is that pair, the mystery pair. Moving on, last two pairs actually comes in a pack. Really cool packaging. I wish Jordan still did stuff like this, like this and then the Raging Bull pack come in really big, nice boxes. You might, you guys might know what these are. This is the Jordan 1 DMP pack. This is the bread colorway from the pack. Um, decent condition on these. Increasing like all what happens to all ones um, Overall Decent condition still lots of life comes with red laces as well and then the Celtic pair that also comes These ones are in pretty similar condition. I'd say both could use a little cleaning There are the bottoms but uh, I'm looking to sell this as a pack. I don't really want to split the pack. And I don't really know the pricing for any of the pairs. So if you're interested in anything, just shoot me an offer. My number will be below. But that is the Jordan 1 DMP pack. Um, these ones are size 9. And those are the last two pairs in the box. So that's going to do it for this beater box. Um, glad to be back. This is the first video that we've made in a while. And hope you guys enjoyed this box. We thought it was pretty good and excited to sell all these shoes. But thank you guys, as always, for watching. Leave a huge like if you enjoyed this video and expect a lot more videos to come very soon. Thank you guys. Peace.